Hi, today I'll show you how efficiently you can integrate your SAP systems with ServiceNow. I start transaction BP for the first example and display business partner number 331. Now let's say that this tax jurisdiction is incorrect here. As an end user, all I have to do is to use the system menu, choose STA add-ons, create and modify ticket. To report an error in service now. Now a pop-up window appears to confirm that you want to take a screenshot. This automatic functionality can be controlled globally in customizing and on user level using user parameters. I'll allow now the program to take the screenshot. And now the main screen of STA ticket system appears. Here I can enter a subject for my incident like tax curious is incorrect for business partner. I can enter the long description here. Uh, I already put something on the clipboard so I just paste it. Okay, here at the bottom you have a customer subscreen where you can add your own fields that you have defined in service now. Here we have some standard ones like impact, urgency, severity and things like that and we have to find two custom fields one is scope so this could be entire department and the type could be functional correctness here we have some groups again defined in service now that are relevant for SAP so okay it could be finance and uh, I can attach additional fields to the incident automatically. So in this example, I'll add a shortcut to this problematic business partner. Another great feature of STA ticket system is that you can add screen field values to the incidents. So you can describe the business context of the problem very easily and without the possibility of human error, like specifying a wrong business partner number. I choose the fields that I uh, find relevant for this problem, so fields related to the address, and I can enter my comments here like this is incorrect. Yeah. So that's it. And uh, I can uh, automatically open the incident once it's created in service now. So I'm finished, let's press send. As you can see, the incident is created in service now and it's opened automatically. So let's check out the fields. The contact type is set to send from SAP. This is a new choice that we have customized. The category is software, the subcategory is SAP, again a new uh, choice customized by us. Here we have the assignment group already set to SAP Finance. Here we have the standard fields, all set uh, to what we've defined. Here we have the two custom fields. The first one is the scope, this entire department, and the type is functional correctness. Obviously here we have this short description and the long text added to the incident. Now let's check out the attachments. First of all, a PDF file is generated that contains all the relevant information. Naturally the PDF structure and content can be changed according to your requirements very easily. So here we have some basic information in the header like the ServiceNow incident number, uh, the reporter, uh, the backend system and client and logon language. <coughs> Here we have the short description of the problem. Here we have the uh, fields that we've defined on the main screen and which are transferred to service now. And here we have the log text. Now the interesting part comes here below. <coughs> All the program information is added to the ticket automatically. So the transaction code, uh, screen number, subscreen number, report, uh, subscreen program, 
and a lot of things. Also, in case of uh, standard reports with the selection screen, all the selection criteria would be added here to this section. Here we have the screen fields that we have chosen to add to the ticket and here we have our comment that this value is incorrect. Everything is added automatically so there's no place for human error and typos. The next section is the call stack which is very very useful for developers and shows the program flow actually. And here we have a lot of additional information like uh, the GUI type, in this case it was SAP GUI for Windows, here we have version information, client, computer name, username, IP address, whatsoever. Also, we have a lot of information on the SAP user. So username, salutation, name, time zone, and every data that you need to contact uh, the person. Also, we have a a section related to the SAP backend information containing every relevant data like uh, the type of the production system, demo system, the um, mountain, the uh, version information, database information, IP addresses, installation numbers, everything that a basis uh, administrator or a security guy might need. And finally here's a list of all the SAP components with the version information added to the PDF. <clears throat> you can control uh, which sections to add to the PDF using customizing. So if you don't need this component part, then you can uh, bypass that. Okay, let's go back to the incident and check out what else we have. We have taken a screenshot, right? It's added automatically. Here I click on that and we have the screenshot. And here is the shortcut to the transaction code. So if you open that, then SAP logon is open in the relevant system, relevant client, <coughs> and the problematic business partner is displayed immediately. Well, I'm sure that you see the advantages that SDA ticket system gives you when creating ServiceNow incidents from SAP. You will get all the technical information along with relevant business information for all incidents without the possibility of human error. Developers can start working on the incidents immediately and require no more or much less input from the end users or business analysts. Often days are lost, especially at multinational companies where someone in the US, for example, reports an error and then leaves the office, but the support guy in India has a question and can't start working on the problem. He won't get an answer until the next day. So, to make the long story short, problems can be fixed quicker and that means less SAP system downtime. Finally, and most importantly, you can reduce your IT costs. So, this is the end of part one. I hope you liked the video. Please like it, share it and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Have a nice day.